Good day, good day everyone and once again we are back together and thank you so much for joining us uh, today and uh, if you haven't subscribed please just make sure that you're part of the family and of course uh, we'll make sure that we give you all things pertaining to maths and science education uh, your uncle will be your plug uh, throughout this year all right so today we'll be doing um, we're continuing on our lesson on exponents and um, what i'm going to be looking at we've already looked at multiplication and division we know how to deal with exponents but what happens when there is a plus or minus sign or, you know, there are different terms in this case? Now, we're going to start looking at factorizing um, or, uh, exponents. Actually, I wrote that incorrectly. That was supposed to read factorizing. Hey, uncle sometimes. Uh... Right. So that's factorizing exponents. Right. So let's get started. Let's go to the very first one. Right, so in this case, you've got 3, 2n um, uh, to the exponent 2n plus 1 minus 3 to the exponent 2n, and that is divided by a 9. This is 9, not a. Okay, so that's 9 exponent n minus 3 exponent 2n minus 2. All right, now let's go right into it. So what you must make sure of is that you always change your numbers into bases that um, are the same to some extent, okay? And my rule is always to say to you, always try to change to bases that are, uh, uh, as I said, prime factors. Always change bases uh, to uh, prime factors. Of course, if th this is when base are numbers, right? So in this case, um, at the top, 3 is already a prime factor, so there's nothing much that I can do with it. But what I'll do is to write it as 3 to n multiplied by, you see, I'm using the first law, right, of exponents. But in this case, I'm writing it 3 uh, uh, exponent 2n, or rather 3, yes, exponent 2n uh, multiplied by 3 uh, exponent 1. Remember, we said if bases are the same, what do we do? We add the exponents. So I'm just reversing the process, right? Minus 3 uh, 2n, this is divided by, now I'm going to change the 9 to a base that is a prime factor. Remember, 9 is 3 squared. So this is 3 squared exponent n raised to the exponent n, right? Uh, and in this case, uh, finally, we've got 3 2n multiplied by 3 uh, negative 2 there. Right. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to find a common factor. Now at the top, you can already see that both terms have got 3 exponent 2n. So I'm going to take that out as a, as a, 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 um, a common factor. Right. So what am I left with? So that's 3 in the 1. So remember, those are multiplied by each other. So 3 times 2n uh, multiplied by 3 will give us that back. Okay, and that would be minus 1, right? Because 3 exponent 2n multiplied by negative 1 will give us that term there, right? I hope that makes sense to all of you, right? And then at the bottom, can you see that we also will have 3 2n? So you've got 3 2n uh, in this case, minus 3 2n times 3 to the exponent negative 2, right? So you can take out as well there. Okay, so that's 3 to n. I'm just writing once at the top. Uh, 3 minus 1 is 2. So I'm going to say that's 2 there. Divided by, at the bottom, I've got 3 to n, right? Now I've got 1 minus. Now remember, 3 to the exponent 2 negative n okay, is the same as 1 over 3 squared. So I can write this as 1 over 3 squared. Do you remember that? Okay, uh, in this case, I'm using that other law. So in this case, what do we have? Of course, these two can cancel out. So I've got 2 divided by, so 1 minus 1 
uh, uh, over 3 squared, which will be 1 minus 1 over 9. That will give us 8 over 9, right? Okay, you can actually use your calculator there. So this is the same as 1 minus 1 over 9. So that will give us 8 over 9. And of course, we can just multiply in this case. So this is the same as 2 over 1 multiplied by 9 over 8. Okay, 2 goes into itself once and into uh, 8 four times. So our final answer will be 9 over 4. Sorry about that mess, uh, but hopefully you understand. Okay, right. So in this case, that is our final answer 9 over 4. You can try it on your own and see what you get there. Now, I wanted us to look at this one. Uh, remember, we're still looking at factorizing um, exponents, right? So how would we actually factorize this? Can you see that this is the difference of two squares, right? So in this case, when we've got two squares, um, uh, what would be, uh, remember, if we said if you've got something like a squared minus 1, what that gives you is a plus 1, uh, a minus 1 when you factorize it. Remember, uh, for those of you who haven't looked at our, our videos on factorization, please have a look at them, right? So this is the, uh, the difference of two squares. So you'll see that this is a to the 1, a to the 1, and in this case, once you multiply them, obviously the exponents uh, add, right? So what are we going to have here? What would be the square root? It would be a 2n because 2n plus 2n will give me 4n. So that will be minus 1 and that's a to the 2n uh, plus 1. So that is what, um, you know, we will get there. As you guys rightfully say, that is how the cookie crumbles, right? So in this case, uh, we've got another example which I wanted to do with you. Right, so what are we going to do? I'm sure you can already see it. Okay, we break numbers down into prime factors. They already are prime factors in this case, or prime numbers. So we've got 3n multiplied by 3, right? Minus 3 exponent n divided by 2. So at the top, we can say, well, take out 3 exponent n, right? And so what does that give us? That's 3, right? minus 1 and all of this divided by 2 okay so you can see at the top we've got 3 minus 1 which is going to be so we've got 3n uh, this is going to be 2 all of that divided by 2 and so these two cancel and what am I left with 3 exponent n that would be our final answer right I'm sure you're getting the gist of it all right now um, in this case, we're given 6, we've got 3, we've got 2, we've got uh, another 3 there, right? So, what are we going to do in this case? Right, so we're going to change the 6. Remember I said to you, change everything into prime factors? So, 6 is 2 multiplied by 3 raised to the exponent n. So, I've changed that 6 into 2 times 3. Okay, so this one is 3n multiplied by 3, right? Divided by, we've got 2 exponent n plus 3. We'll try to factorize as much as we possibly can, right? Now, we're going to use our third rule, right? We said if we are going to have bases multiplied and we're raising them to the exponent, so it means that this will be 2 raised to the exponent n multiplied by 3, uh, exponent n plus 3 exponent n multiplied by 3, right? And this is divided by 2n uh, plus 3. So in this case, uh, let's try and factorize. We've got um, common exponents there, or uh, in this case, uh, common powers, which is 3 to the power n, or rather 3 exponent n. And so what are we left with inside? We've got 2 exponent n uh, plus 3. Okay, this is divided by 2 exponent n plus 3. I'm sure you can already see that this is at the top. It's the same as that at the bottom. 
So what do we have as our final answer? This will be 3 exponent n. All right, uh, we are moving swiftly, and I hope that you are getting an appreciation for this. All right, so let's do this next one. So we've got 5 uh, exponent 2n, okay? So that will be 5 exponent 2n multiplied by 5 uh, plus 5 exponent n times another 5. Okay, it's easier when you write it that way so that you can see what the common factors are. Okay, so I've got at the bottom 5 exponent 2n, okay, minus 1. Okay, now remember we're dealing with factorization, right? Um, in this case, it might be helpful uh, to you, ladies and gents, sometimes to express, you know, using k. But uh, in this case, what are the common factors? I've got 5s there but can you see that you'll also have this is the same as saying 5 exponent n times 5 exponent n right so um, in this case if i take out 5 times 5 exponent n right what am i left with inside so remember i will have 5 exponent n here right minus 1, okay? Now, if you notice this at the bottom, again, this is the difference of two squares, right? So you can say that's going to be 5 exponent n plus 1 and 5 exponent n minus 1. Now, it's important for us to learn this factorization thing uh, because when we do exponential equations, um, you'll see that they, it does come in quite handy. Right, what do, we, what do we notice? Okay, so that will cancel with that. Okay, so what are we left with? Okay, so we'll have 5 exponent n plus 1. Okay, so that's 5 to the 1, 5 to the n. So there's nothing more we can do with it uh, divided by 5 exponent n plus 1. Please note, those are two different things because this is 5 raised to the exponent n plus 1, and this is 5 raised to the exponent n plus 1. Okay, right. So 1 is in the exponent here, uh, 1 is in the base here. All right, let's go on. Um, how I would wish, if you can, pause this video, try to solve this on your own, right? And then you can come back and see my solution. You can pause now and then uh, replay later. Okay, if you did pause, what you'll find is that, okay, we've got uh, 3 multiplied by 2 exponent n minus. Now, what I'm going to do is change that 4 into a, an exponent, um, or rather a base with an exponent uh, in this case, remember we said change numbers into prime factors. So this is going to be 2 squared, right? So that is multiplied by 2 to the exponent n um, minus 2. Okay, so in this case, at the bottom, we've got 2n multiplied by 2 and minus 2 raised to the exponent n. Right, so once again, let's try to do what we've been doing all along. Um, at the top, I've got 3 multiplied by 2n. I'm sure some of you have even realized that uh, we can actually add those. Bases are the same and we are multiplying. So what do we do? We add the exponents. So this is going to be n minus 2 uh, plus 2. Remember that 2 is added there. So in this case, those cancel. Okay. So uh, in this case, what do we have? We've got at the bottom, I can take out 2 exponent n. So what I'll be left with is um, 2 minus 1. Okay. Um, so uh, at the top, let's try and simplify even further. Okay, so we've got 3 exponent 2n and we've got, uh, so we can take out 2 exponent n, that would be 3 minus 1 
and at the bottom you've got 2 exponent n 2 minus 1 and I'm sure you can see how these cancel and we've got 2 minus 1 which is I mean 3 minus 1 which is 2 and 2 minus 1 which is 1 and so our final answer will be 2 all right uh, and please just check it out okay and once again uh, I want us to take this last one uh, but please once again ladies and gents uh, try to pause it okay and see how you can actually uh, just um, do that one on your own uh, I wanted to show you this K method uh, that I wanted to uh, yeah that I want to illustrate to you that I mean you've got 3 2 n and you've got 3 n you can actually say let 3 exponent n equal to k right so what will that do now which means this one 3 exponent 2 n um, in this case will become 3 exponent n squared right minus 3 n minus 6 over 3 uh, exponent n squared I'm writing it deliberately like that uh, minus 4 now remember you said 3 exponent n is equal to k so that will be k squared minus k minus 6 over k squared minus 4 um, I'm sure you can see how those are uh, quadratic equations so you can say well this is going to be uh, k now if I factorize that that's going to be uh, 3 and k 2 okay so in this case that would mean that is minus and plus okay and the bottom you can see how that's going to be difference of two squares so that's k plus 2 uh, k minus 2 right uh, now I can cancel out what is the same there so what do I have as our final answer? This will be, now let's substitute uh, 2n for k. So this will be 2n, okay, uh, let me just write that properly. Right, so that would be 2n minus 3 divided by 2n minus 2. There's nothing more you can do from here. All right, um, uh, yeah, you can leave that as your final answer. All right, uh, if you wanted to work with K, uh, I mean, uh, if you didn't want to work with K, it's still the same thing there. You could have taken out in this case, you, you notice. So sometimes it's a little bit difficult and particularly when they give you big numbers, okay? Uh, always try to simplify it in such a way that you can use the K method substitution, right? It would have been exactly the same thing uh, you would have realized this is uh, 3 to the 2n uh, and in this case what it uh, simply becomes uh, it's 3n minus uh, um, uh, we said 3 okay and that would be uh, 3 exponent n uh, plus 2 and at the bottom you would have had 3n minus 2 uh, 3 exponent n plus 2 and of course those two cancel out and you would have 3 exponent n minus 3 over 3 exponent n minus 2 okay which is exactly what we had there right ladies and gents I want to leave it there uh, but I just wanted to uh, um, you know obviously ask you to simplify this uh, so 8 exponent x uh, multiplied by 4 exponent x minus 2 all right I want you to try and uh, um, get it into the simplest form possible right uh, and let me know what that is that's your homework in a sense okay uh, please write on the comments and let me know what you get as your final answer otherwise ladies and gents I'll see you uh, next time please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and share and tell as many people as possible otherwise from me your favorite uncle i'll see you guys next time shop shop